Hello friends. So today, uh, a lot of my members and subscribers are saying to make videos on graph, graph theory, so that they can also practice with me. So the main thing is I'm gonna put some videos from Lead Code, Code Forces, and Add Coder from or like regarding graphs. So I've also posted a lot of problems on graphs. So I will make a separate, some sort of separate playlist in which you can find out all the graph problems. And I will be also trying to make more and more graph problems so that you can practice out along with me. So I will be also solving them from the latest uh, contest also, so you can absolve them. So, but we're gonna start from very beginning problems, uh, starting from lead code, and then we're gonna move in just one two days. I will be posting a lot of easy to medium problems, and then we're gonna discuss some hard problems also. So the first problem today is uh, simple. If you want to skip, you can skip this video also. The first problem is find the town judge. So in this problem, they are actually just giving you. So it's a very simple problem. You can understand how this problems actually work. So it's a very simple concept in graph, which is like every node. Okay. So if the graph or if so in graph, there are different nodes and edges, the edges can be directional or under like undirectional. So undirectional means that if you are connecting two nodes, this connecting edge, if it doesn't have any direction, then you can move in any direction. So you can move from this node to this node, or you can move from this node to this node. So it is unidirectional or like bidirectional. But if the node or this edge is having some direction, it actually moves that you can only move from this node to this node. So if there is no arrow like this, this node is like bidirectional. And if it has a direction, it is unidirectional. So in unidirectional, if you take out any node, the node from which this arrow is going out that is called the out degree of any node and the arrow on which it is pointing out it is called the in degree so so like it is going inside so if any node has let's assume that two nodes which are pointing inside but also remember that they should be having arrows so if they are having arrows and uh, two arrows are pointing in and one arrow is pointing out so the in degree of this in degree how many going like edges are going in two and how out degree is one okay so the problem is just revolving around the same concept so the problem is saying that in a town there are n people labeled from one till n okay and there's a rumor that there is a secret judge okay the town judge the town judge exist if the town just exists it has the following properties the town judge trust nobodies so you are actually given uh, some sort of an map i'll tell you how this map is drawn but you have to find out whether there's a town judge or not if a town judge exists then the town judge should satisfy for all of these conditions the first condition is the town judge do not trust anybody and everybody trust the town judge except himself because everybody in the town will like will trust the town judge and but the town judge doesn't like judge anybody like uh, trust anybody also not himself so you are given the trust relationship that a trust b so you are given a directional uh, edge so a trust b now you have to tell that whether town just exist if it exists you have to give the number of the town judge else not so as you can see the first example is one two which means that there are two persons in the in the whole uh uh actually yeah so so as you can see the the problem is also giving in this format that i'll tell you so if you can see that what is the like the input statement in this problem is you are given a trust arrow so in this problem as you can see there is a trust relationship between one and two so one is trusting two so obviously as you can see if we consider two as a town judge everyone in the town except this trust this obviously so if this is also a town judge category okay so everyone in the town will somehow like trust this person so every relation we have uh, every relation we have is such that I have the number of in degree, the number of in degree for any node should be equal to n minus one. The total number of people in this town is let's assume n and there is one town judge. So how many people are left n minus one? So n minus one people should trust this person. So I have to see that there should be only one person who have like who should be having n minus one, n minus one in degrees and zero out degree because for that person no like he, this person should not trust anyone so for this person that out degree should be equal to zero so you have to see that now what you can easily do here is for every person you can make two vectors in degree and out degree this vector is storing out for every edge how many 
in degree and out degree are. So you can just iterate over all the trust uh, like this vector, which is storing all the trust relationship between the A and B. So A and B means that they one to two means that there is a edge between like this. If there's an edge like this, what it is signifying? It signifies that for the first number, like for the second number, there is one in degree. And for the first number, there is one out degree. For every relationship, this consider an edge. And for every edge, what we can say that if this is an edge, the, you can make a vector. Okay, you can make a vector for of in degree and out degree. And then what you can store here is for in degree, you can show that, okay, for two, the number of in degrees is equal to three. How you can find out? You can iterate over all the possible uh, like trust relationships. And then whenever you find out that, okay, at the second position, you see two, then you can increment that value because second position means that the arrow is pointing toward that position. So it is like an in degree. So you can just iterate over the whole, uh, like, uh, like this whole array and find out how many in degree and out degree for every node is there. And then you just count out as you can see. And then what you can do, just iterate over all the nodes, which you are there in the like question, and then check that whether there is some node which has this property which in degree of that node is equal to n minus 1 and the out degree is equal to 0. If that node exists then the answer is like the index of that uh, person you can because I'm doing zeroth indexing so you can like I have made plus 1 but you it is not satisfy for you you can just do this in one indexing also else if you do not find out any candidate then you just print out minus 1. I hope you understand the logic and the code. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it on. I'll see you next one. Till then, keep coding. I'll see you for more videos. I'll see you next one. Till then, keep coding. And bye.